All right, Jay Z and Beyonce surprise fans of the new album, and Meghan Markle's dad finally speaks out about his absence from the royal wedding. Yeah, our social media maven Nikki Bowers is yes, here girl. to break down those headlines and celebrity. What you got? Okay, today Meghan Markle's dad he opened up. His name's Thomas Markle. Mm -hmm. He opened up for the very first time, and he talked about how beautiful his daughter was walking down the aisle, how incredible the experience was, and how he was so proud. But he also talked about the pain of it all because he oh. wasn't able to attend. As you guys know, he had health issues. And he said, the unfortunate thing for me now is that I'm a footnote in one of the greatest moments in history, rather than the dad walking her down the aisle. He, I know, that it's really sad. It, it really does, does, it does. He also went on to talk about how Prince Harry asked uh, him for oh. Meghan's hand in marriage. So let's take a look at that. Harry got on the phone with Meghan. They called me together. And uh, Harry asked for her hand over the phone. And I said, uh, you're a gentleman. Uh, promise me you'll never raise your hand against my daughter. And of course, I give you my permission. Oh, wow. Yeah. Heartbreaking. It, it is. Like, I, I kind of feel for him because yeah. I feel like a lot of the stuff wasn't of his doing. It was of his so, children's yeah, doing. So tell, fill me in on that because yeah. I thought it was him selling the pictures to so, the paparazzi. So his daughter, this is a man who is just under the radar. Megan's been famous for a while. We've never heard about right, him, right? right. His daughter, who doesn't like Megan, she's an older daughter. She's about 25 years older than Megan. Okay. She told him that, you know, the press was showing these pictures of him that were kind of unflattering because he's a bigger guy. And she was like, you need to stage some pictures of yourself where you look better and you're... Even though the queen said, no, don't do that. Exactly. Yeah. But he, he pretty much didn't really know or understand that he shouldn't do that. And he spoke to them about it and everything. And he ended up having heart palpitations and had a heart attack. And that's why oh, he ended goodness. up not making it to the wedding. Wow. Well, yeah. I, it, it, he's right. He has a footnote in that. He's not going to ever get that back. But hopefully mm -mm. they can maintain a nice relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. she was close to both her dad and her mom before mm -hmm. this wedding. So we'll see. Now, I need to spill the tea for you guys about what's happening with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Oh, I want to know more about on, this. Please. I love this. We're okay. Done. You guys ready for this? Yes. Okay. So this weekend, Jay-Z and Beyonce, uh -huh. without any fanfare or promotion they dropped a joint album together called everything is love with their last album that's so cool yeah yeah and uh, but that just shows their star power right yeah. mm -hmm. so they dropped a joint album together and in the album they addressed their marriage issues but they also spilled the tea on some industry beefs um, for example Jay-Z referenced Drake's line in summer 16 in which Drake pretty much says that he's the new Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. He says it's, <laughs> yeah, he does. Um, Jay-Z says, it's disturbing what I grow. Survey says you, you're you not even close. <laughs> oh. So, you know, in hip hop, calling out someone with a clever rhyme, that's like very acceptable and that makes you a great lyricist, right? Mm -hmm. So my question for you guys is, have you ever called out someone without saying their name mm -hmm. on social media? Oh, isn't that, what do they call that when you send those tweets, those... Uh, Clapbacks. Uh, uh, no, what did what you, you say? Subtweets, subtweets. Oh, where you're yeah. like, uh, like, let's say if I'm doing... Somebody. Anything, well, someone is yeah. wearing, wearing a, a really dress big today. necklace today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somebody. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, you, I try not to do that. I try to act my age and be an adult about things yes. and address beefs if I have them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm not big on that. Have you ever But isn't that? it hard, though, with the trolls? Like, it's hard, and you guys, like, when you're I've a little bit well known. I've responded one time. Yeah. Like, usually I just block them. I'm like, I don't, no, block. I don't have time for that negative energy. But in a, in a way, that gives them the satisfaction knowing you read it. So I just ignored, like, ah, I live in La La Land. Oh, yeah? It's oh, no, I block oh, you. No. I don't need your negative energy. I oh, need, that's you can a good it. thing to do. No, honey, I will clap back on Twitter. You like, will you? Yeah, but I do it, like, in a very, like, clever, mature, well, I guess it's not mature if I'm throwing, <laughs> if I'm throwing shade on the low, but I, I like to kind of call people out yeah. on the low, I do, but the thing is, I'll also tell you to your face, so yeah. I guess I do both. You're a lyrical genius like Jay-Z, that's why you can do that. Uh, I got nothing. No, well, I'm not. Like, no. <laughs> I love oh getting the celebrity. Thanks for the gossip, Thank you. I love being here. Come